Welcome, welcome, Pokemon trainers, Pokemon spectators, Pokemon themselves. I don't know how you're watching right now if you're Pokemon. Welcome to Hangouts for Pokemon Let's Go, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu edition. I'm joined by professional Pokemon trainers. Kenny and Brittany. I've got the Pokeball. I mean, that is dedication. Uh, so welcome. This is the show where we kind of talk through games, commentate on them. If it's a new game, we, we, we give you our impressions. He and her have both delved really deep into this. How many hours would you say that you're in? What do you think? Because um, we played every bit of it together. Why do you? Maybe, actually, you know what? I know how we can tell. It feels like quite a few. Six hours and 20 six minutes. Six hours, okay. So there's six hours in. I'm zero hours and zero minutes in. Uh, yeah, so um, where, where are you at right now? Route 11. So you've got two badges. I am. And this is, to be clear, just to catch me up and people watching, these are remakes. This is a remake of Yellow, right? Yep. But they have they like changed some stuff? Have they kind of like tweaked some of the environments? Have they tweaked like what have they done? Like here, I can kind of take us back, and you can see. So, what's nutso is the wild Pokemon popping up. Like, look, I don't want a Pidgey right now. I'm yeah. not gonna mess with that Pidgey. Oh, you can see them on the screen yes. now. Yeah, they're yes. not oh, they're, they're, so out of the grass they anymore. they pop up. So what does the grass do though? It's where they pop up. So the tall grass still exists. It's just doesn't... where they spawn from instead oh. of like... Yeah, they don't hide in there anymore. You can see, see like... Oh, wild. okay. See, I like that a lot So, more. but like a Growlithe... Come here. It's funny because you have to actually chase them down sometimes them if down, you want yeah. them. Versus just running around through the grass and getting them. So, the whole 
wild Pokemon battle mechanic is completely different in this yeah. game. It is like Pokemon Go. Uh, the nutso thing is, so you if you have a second controller or Joy-Con, yeah. you shake it, if it'll, it's not connected for some reason, because <laughs> the Switch is awesome when it comes to connectivity. Support trainer came running from somewhere to lend a hand. So, so you guys are playing two player most of the time. We get, get ready at the same time. Wait for a good time to make the throw. And then throw. Excellent oh. throw. Two Pokeballs. It gives you the cool animation. The Pokemon or the Pokeball Plus lights up. It tells you if you catch it. Oh, okay. Um, if you do catch it, the ring around this lights up the color of the Pokemon. Yeah. And it um, it makes the Pokemons like cry from the ball. Oh, that's yeah. cool. And it like clicks when you catch it and everything like that. So I'm gonna use Barry on him to make him a little bit easier to catch. Another excellent throw. This one should. So it's very similar to Pokemon, um, Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go. Yeah. The catching. So. Caught him. Makes a little noise from inside the Pokeball, which you probably can't hear. Then it gives you experience points based on how well you do. So if you get an excellent throw, if you get it on the first throw, if we are in sync, it yeah. like literally gives you like a synchronization bonus. Um, how did you get... Yeah. Oh, you got the Mew because you got the ball, didn't yep. you? Yeah, because it comes in that ball. Yeah, and this is how catching Pokemon and battling trainers is how you get experience points because yeah. you can't battle wild Pokemon anymore. Yeah, I, I've and heard then, I've heard that, but that's it's interesting how they have it set up. So now too, when you run into like another Growlithe, so we get ready. What's that white ball? Who's ball. got a white ball? She. Yeah. Oh, hang on, get out of there. Then. I don't want to use this. Go to the bag too. You got a great ball. I just wanted to get rid of all my Pokeballs because I'm now at the point in the game where great balls work significantly better. He jumped. I love when they do that and go and you just waste your last of your Pokemon. So excellence is the best you can get. Yes. You guys have got it down. So now it'll give us it'll give us like a stack. So Bonus multiplier went up 4.4. Um, we have a combo bonus now. So another cool thing is all the Pokemon get experience, which makes leveling up easy. We see catch combo two keep it up. So as you as your catch combo increases, so does your experience to yeah. a certain extent. It has caps, um, but it also um, significantly increases your odds of getting a shiny of that Pokemon if you stack those catch combos up. So I think it's like, base is like 1 in 4,096, and you can get it down to like, I want to say I read 1 in 300 and something, if you get up to like a 31 catch combo or something yeah. ridiculous like that. Oh, there's What's the highest you got? We got like, we were stacking Geodudes in Mount Moon, and we got up to like, wow, that thing <laughs> just played me. We got up to uh, like 11 or 12 Geodudes. Um, but then we started running out of Pokeballs, and at that point we didn't have a lot of money and things like yeah. that, so we were like, okay, we gotta stop. Because it uses two Pokeballs yeah. when you have two players, it doesn't just use one. So the other mechanic that's similar to Pokemon Go is in the Pokemon box. So your box is now in your bag, so no more PCs in the Pokemon Oh, Center. they've changed that. And it's funny that like some of the stuff was like... They held on to tradition where it's like, just put it in the bag, you know what I mean? Like, they had to do that in the Game Boy, because it's like, you can't, you know what I mean? There was probably reasons why that wouldn't work out, but... So, I usually just... Because, yeah, you had to go to a certain center. It's like, some, some of that stuff can be fixed, and I'm glad mm -hmm. they're like... It's like, well, there's no need for that anymore to do all that stuff. So, you send the Pokemon to the professor, which is like transferring Pokemon Go. Yeah. And he gives you rewards. So, I've sent him 10 Growlithe. I've earned a reward. So he gives you a candy based on the characteristic of the Pokemon that you send him. Okay. And then so that XL one is because I've sent him 10 Growlithe. Yeah. So Mighty Candy is a characteristic of, of Growlithe. And so what you can do then is you go to your candy jar. And 
So my Pikachu needs three to level up one point in speed because I've given him so many. Yeah. But like, um, let's go with like health. He'll only need like one. Oh, he needs two now. I must have given him a bunch of those too. So I've just been like maxing the crap. So out what does a rare candy do now? Does it does. Do it levels you up one level. Right. Okay. But I've just been maxing the crap out of my Pikachu. Just because it's my Pikachu. <laughs> hey, because it's your Pikachu. But, so you, so this is how you increase their stats. Their base stats now is by giving them these candies. Okay. So it kind of works like the uh, protein and carbose and all that stuff that was in the original games. Yeah. What was that up there that I just saw? Oh, that's a Jigglypuff. But... Those things are annoying. They float all over the place. Yeah. So like in yellow, Officer Jenny's right here. She gave me this war turtle that's behind me. Uh, which was a Squirtle. Yeah. Um, one cool thing that they did, I don't know how they calculate it, but they don't just give you the Pokemon at a set level. I want to say it was level 10 in yellow. Yeah. Um, my Bulbasaur I got at level 12, which I guess was some kind of average of my average party level. My Charmander I got at 14, and this War Turtle came to me as a Squirtle at level 16, so I leveled it up once and it evolved. But that was neat because I didn't have to grind to level up my yeah. War Turtle, it gave me some kind of average. Um, another neat thing, so like, you see the Pokemon walking beside of me, Yeah. and Pikachu's on your shoulder, but, so you can go in here, and some Pokemon, like, do different things when you bring them out. Yeah. So, this guy gave me this Persian. Because he said, what do you like better, Growlithe or Meowth? And I said, Growlithe. And I showed him five Growlis, and yeah. he got me a Persian. Oh, so you got like a mountain yeah. now. Oh my gosh. So you can ride on it, and it goes faster, obviously, than you run, and obviously yeah. faster than your partner can run. Yeah. So <laughs> she just gets left in the dust when I do this. There's two side decks on there. But yeah. Oh, that's really cool. So that's pretty neat. Um, I can't wait to have an Arcanine and <laughs> ride around on that thing. That's going to be fun. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of neat things that they've changed. It's definitely like, it's easy as crap for a Pokemon game. Yeah. That's like one thing that I'm like, I wish there was kind of like maybe difficulty levels or yeah. something. Because they won't let you um, into the gym, like the first gym, yeah. which is Brock, Rock type. The guy says, before I can let you in, you have to show me a grass type or a water type Pokemon or something. Yeah. So, they won't let you just go in there and get your butt kicked and figure it out. They kind of handhold you. Yeah. And I wish there was, like, a a different thing to it, I guess, where you could maybe, like, hey, I'm an experienced Pokemon player, or I'm in, this is my first Pokemon game ever. Yeah, I, I actually feel... I want to see what you think about this. I think after, like, Ruby and Sapphire, the games kind of got... Maybe Diamond and Pearl. Like, I feel like they got really easy. I feel like the games overall kind of... But I haven't played Sun and Moon and stuff like that, but I feel like X and Y was super simple, and... Yeah, they're still Diamond pretty... Diamond and Pearl were kind of simple. Sun and pretty Moon... Simple. They were maybe. fun, but I don't... I think I... In, up to Ruby, up to those games... I was having a grind. Like it was, uh, the Elite Four was really hard. It yeah. took me quite a couple tries. I don't think the Elite Four was hard in X and Y. And it was, it was moderately difficult in um, Sun and Moon. And then Ultra Sun. I don't know about Ultra Moon, but I'm pretty sure they're about the same. It was pretty simple. Yeah. Let's see who that is over there on my left. It's blue. Blue. Did you get to choose if it was blue or red? No. Oh, he just... came up to me after um, after Brock's gym. Oh, okay. Like, hey, I used to be... Um... What did he just give me? See, some of the stuff is like completely different. Oh, so you're on the... What is the, the SS... I'm on the SSAN now, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Funny story, Pokemon story, when... I first got blue when it came out as a kid. I remember getting close to this or this town or whatever with the ship, SSN, and I thought that 
for some reason in my little kid brain, you know stuff that you, that you think and you're like, why did I think that? I thought that if you went to the Poke Center and you gave them the your Pokemon to heal, that they would steal your Pokemon. So I always, if I needed to heal, I would walk all the way back to my mom, mom's house in Pallet Town. <laughs> Until finally I was like, I'm just going to risk it because it was taking so long by like after this. And it was like, oh, they won't steal it. I don't know if there, is there an episode of Pokemon that... They do, like, there's they trick them and steal. I don't know what got in my kid's Team Rocket brain. tries to steal Pokemon out of the Pokemon Center and, and one of the Something, I, I think that must have, like, fricked with me as a kid. And I was like, oh, then they'll steal my Pokemon. Like, what was I thinking? Like, mm -hmm. So, um, Pokemon, back to what you were saying about, like, the difficulty level. Yeah. It was so bad in Sun and Moon that, like, your rival picks the Pokemon that like, you're strong against. Yeah. And the yeah. rival always yeah. used to pick the Pokemon you were weak against, which made it, like, it made it kind of hard. Yeah. But yeah. I liked that, because then you had to counter. Yeah, and they upped the difficulty a little bit in this, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. This lady thinks I'm a waiter. Do I look like a waiter? Do I look like a waiter? I'm wearing Pikachu clothes. This isn't the original outfit you start the game with. I got these clothes, like... From the guy who you normally get the bike voucher from. Oh, yeah, yeah. He gave me Pikachu clothes this time instead of a bike voucher. It's funny out of all the games, I'll even get, Some people say silver and gold are the best. I won't even, like, you know, uh, fight that, you know. But this one to me, classic. This, this. Every single play is more, you know, memorable and stuff to me. It's it's harder as it goes along, I think, for all the games. Yeah. Also, it would be... So this lady, she has two Pokemon. I've got two players. Why don't you send out two Pokemon? <laughs> it makes battling completely easy. Yeah. Because even if I don't one-shot you, which I'm going to... Yeah, that is... Hmm. So this move is ridiculously overpowered. <laughs> called Zippy Zap, so Zippy Zippy Zap. Zap. <laughs> and it always Six. critical hits. This, again, like this is a testament to how easy. Watch how fast the HP goes down. Gone. Dead. Yeah. It always critical hits and it's high power and it's got the same type attack bonus if that's in this game. I'm sure it is. But they took away the abilities and they took away the held items and things like that. Yeah. So I don't know. I think that was my reservation. The stuff you're showing me and stuff looks awesome. I guess my reservation with the game was it was oh. a little bit too easy. Check this also out too. Stuff, you, your Pikachu learns Double Kick, which is a fighting type move, which is strong against Brock. So they give you something right off the bat too to yeah. use against Brock with your Pikachu. Yeah. So that you could beat the first gym with just your Pikachu. That kind of was like, really? Yeah, they, they give you too many crutches it seems like. Yeah, which again, like, it's fine. I'm kind of more so just playing this one for the fun. Like, I know sure. this isn't a mainline Pokemon game. I know it's just a remake, and it's kind yeah. of more to, like, get people into the game who... Yeah. And also, like... I think it'd be fun, even with the easy stuff, you guys are still going through the original game in the yep. 3D, like... And on top of that, too, so I think they, they struck a new group of people with Pokemon Go... And they got adults, like older adults, into Pokemon Go. Yeah. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I still, we still play Pokemon Go. Yeah. And there's a maybe Facebook, that's what they're kind of way. There's a like... Facebook group, and <laughs> it has been overrun with Let's Go stuff. Like to the point where people are asking the the mods of the Facebook group, <laughs> they're the admins, I guess, yeah. to not let people post about Let's Go. And they said, um, Let's Go is a Pokemon Go based yeah. game, so we're gonna let people do it. Yeah. So. But most of the people in that group are, like, older adults who have never probably played a mainline Pokemon game before. Yeah. Or if they picked up one on one of the handhelds, they are probably like, this is too yeah. difficult, it's not like Pokemon Go, I don't like it. Now they've got them sucked in yeah. with this. People have absolutely loved this game. This is the original, so, like, they're getting the experience that yeah. we had as a kid for the first time fresh yeah. for them as an adult, so... Would it help? Cool. Would have you thought about if it because it's so easy, like skipping some of these trainers so you can go straight to like the no. <laughs> badges? I'm just gonna. I want to level up the like. Heck don't out level. Of my... Don't level up anything and just be like low level and try to beat it. That could be your difficulty. I'm just, I want to level up everything. 
I want level 100 Pikachu to zippy zap the heck out of here. Level 100 <laughs> zippy zaps. Oh. Well, oh, wow. Your that cover's blown. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually how FBI agents I'll go tell FBI them. Agent. I'll go tell them, rich looking fellow. Hey, please. Are you still checking the trash cans? Can you still I, check trash cans? So, another weird thing that they did now. They took so, that out? I don't know if they did. Yeah, it's not letting me check it. But, so now, like, when you're walking around and there's an item on the ground, your Pikachu's tail will wag a different way. <laughs> I am the waiter on the ship. Nice. Look, they're cooking up the berries from Pokemon Go. weirdest change that you've seen that you're like why did they even touch this you know this one right here she hated the wild pokemon thing at first the what the wild pokemon Not maybe battle. Battle. Wild pokemon. oh she was like that oh yeah so yeah dumb. that was that was to me yeah the biggest i don't get why they did that either so another thing that they did but that's that nintendo was, they it, i think it was a good change that they showed them in the wild but taking out the battling, it's like, that's yeah. a Nintendo. It they is take, classic they, Nintendo. They give, give and they take. They, yeah, they give and they take. Um, you can run into fully evolved wild Pokemon. Mm -hmm. like Just like in stuff. Pokemon Go. Oh, okay. I ran into a Butterfree. and Actually, several Butterfree in uh, Viridian Forest. It's pretty cool. And, you know, of course you get the Kakunas and the Metapons and whatever. So there were some fully evolved Pokemon that you could run into, um, like Raticate and things like that, but never like a Butter... I don't think Butterfree ever existed in the wild. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think... I don't think so. Are you another international FBI? Yeah, I was about to ask. You know what I'm wondering about? How are they going to handle the Safari Zone and Tauros? Because oh, Tauros good. was the uh, toughest Pokemon to catch. I wonder if it's like, just throw your... So were Chansey and Kangaskhan. Yeah. I think Chansey actually has a lower base catch rate than... Tauros was the hardest Pokemon I think I've ever caught. In the Safari Zone, because you could only use that rock and, and the bait. The bait. And, and, the... and he always ran all the time. Face. I know. I think even the legendaries were... I would say like Suikoden and like those other ones in Gold and Silver were freaking difficult, but uh, Tauros, I just remember trying for weeks as a kid, trying to get in. This guy's got a really strong magic carp. I don't know if I can take it. Oh, really? Oh, no. I'm being sarcastic. I saw your face after I turned and looked at you. Hey, if you're in the chat, what's the best Pokemon? What's your favorite Pokemon? I, uh, I still gotta go Blastoise for all these years. Yep. I have to agree with that one. I started on a weird kick uh, the last time we streamed, remember? I started watching that YouTube video of the guy trying to yeah. beat the whole game with Ditto. So... That guy, and then I saw a guy try and beat the whole game with Magikarp, just a Magikarp. Yeah. What can you do? Just wiggle? You, or whatever it is? Like it learns or... tackle, Yeah. but it also learns struggle. Well, that's all it does at first, yes. is, it, is just struggle. It has splash, which does oh, nothing. Oh, that's it. That's what it was. Splash. So, the guy who did it with the Ditto run, he did it. He, he did it completely, but... He somehow broke the game to where if he um, if he ran out of moves or something, sometimes he would use struggle. Yeah. And it would say there's no PP left for this move. Yeah. And that's that's broken. Struggle is the move you use when you're out of PP yeah, for anything yeah. else. So he had to use the he I forget what he did. He finagled it somehow. Um, but the guy who tried to do it with the Magikarp only run. He couldn't do it because yeah. once you get to Lavender Town, you have to go through the Ghost Tower, and you have to get the Pokey Flute so that you can wake Snorlax up. Mm -hmm. You can't attack Ghost Pokemon with Struggle because in this game, it's considered, or in the originals, it's considered a normal type move. And so you can't even. So you can't. It doesn't affect Ghost Pokemon. Yeah. That changed, and I think it even changed in Second Gen, but. Struggle became like a typeless move. Like oh, okay. it could just be used. So he had to stop. 
he went and did everything he could. He went and fought like Erica, and he did everything he possibly could do. But you do, have to, you have to move Snorlax. Could, he could not move Snorlax. Yeah. But the battling in this game is still, I mean, similar to the old battling system, and the graphics are really good. Like yeah. when when P I love the animation of sending out like Pikachu, like he throws him off his arm. Pikachu yeah, jumps out fun. there, and the the graphics are just they're really good. I did actually have some frame rate issues at one point though, and uh, man, so that, that uh, Pokemon X and Y had frame rate issues if you remember when you had the three D. When on. you turn the three D on, yeah, um, isn't that crazy? But that game looked great on the 3DS, I think. Like, I get it. When it was, you know, slowing down, I was like, yeah, these are great looking Pokemon. But this game, can I have you um, jump out for a second? Yeah. I want to show them. So when, like, it's just a one-on-one -on -one battle, yeah. um, I want you to see how freaking good, like, Pikachu's, like, you can see the details in, like, Pikachu's fur. It's so... So good luck. Wait, it gets more detail on one of the Yeah, because it zooms in closer. It oh, doesn't okay. have to show two Pokemon on the, on the screen. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, he looks like Detective Pikachu there. Like you can see the fur on his back yeah. and, and everything. That's the most detailed I've ever seen Pikachu's back. Ever. This should actually be a battle for me for a second. Because I can't use electric trap moves. This should take him out there. But it's cool, like the opposing trainers, like standing there across from you with their Pokemon out in front of them, and you've got like you, their, yeah, their faces and reactions and stuff. Funny. Uh, a lot of money from that guy. I remember beating the Elite Four as a kid, and. Uh, it was probably this was probably so embarrassing for my mom, but we were out at a yard sale and I beat the Elite Four, and I remember just yelling like, "Yes, yes, I did it, I did it!" And she was like, "What is wrong with you?" And I was like, "I beat the Elite Four. Like beating that was like beating the game, like uh, conquering that as a kid. Because I didn't beat many games as a kid. You're young, you don't, you know, like it's hard to get through a game completely. Like getting through Pokemon is like climbing a freaking mountain." The Go Park is the thing to get Pokemon Go. I haven't. I don't know if I can at this point yeah. link up my Pokemon Go, um, but I haven't because I'd want to beat through it like without importing all my strong Pokemon yeah. from Pokemon Go. Yeah, I think that would make things even more easy. Because they do. Um, your Pokemon also do have CP, which I don't know how that factors in, but. See. So he his CP is 851. What is CP again? That's combat power. Okay. Th oh, that's what's from Go. So right. like he's a 410, 797, 499. He sucks. But yeah, so they have CP. Classic Pidgeotto. I just want to get Pidgeot and fly around on it. If it'll let me. I'm sure it does. But I haven't imported. See, there's there's some kind of thing. I don't know what this does. Mystery gifts, or you can play with others. Um, here's the Pokédex. We haven't really shown it off yet, but it's neat. It's got the old kind of old school sprites, and then when you check the data on the Pokémon, you can like check it out. The 3D model, and it's pretty cool. Do that, and then. Um, it has like the Pokédex data. I haven't actually looked at like check habitat to see where they exist. I know they're in Viridian Forest. Okay, I see. I know that's bullcrap because the classic map. I know that's bullcrap because they are in Viridian Forest. I caught we one. We found there. one in the wild. Do you have the bike yet? I went to the bike shop and the guy said I don't sell these bikes. I only collect them. What up, AOI 2012? It says, What's good up? evening, ladies and dweebros. <laughs> I like that. What would you call a lady dweebra? Dweebret? Dweebret. Dweegals? Dweegals. <laughs> I don't want to go. 
Yeah, yeah. I think that's back towards the captain's right? Let's see who we got. Am I 2012 favorite Pokemon? You did, did you say yours? Are you Pikachu? No. You seem like a Pikachu fan. I really you love Arcanine. Arcanine? Arcanine is okay. one of my favorite, but Jirachi is also one of my favorite. I like Jirachi a lot. What's Jirachi? Gen 3's mythical Pokemon. It's like the, um, it's got like the star on its head. It's the wishing Pokemon. That's what it is. Look, I gotta look you this You spelled that completely wrong. Jirachi. It's J. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's the, <laughs> it's got the star on its head, yeah. Did you watch the movie with Jirachi? No. Yeah. But, but I thought he was your favorite Pokemon. You should. See I didn't him. say it was my favorite. I said I like Jirachi. Oh, then who's your favorite? Probably Arcanine. Okay. And Arcanine's Growlithe. Well, yeah. Well, for me, yeah. Let me let me get another look at him. I'll Just a big old him. dog. Big old dog. Yeah, he's pretty cool looking. Uh, you know what I would uh. I don't know why we never got this during the Wii U's day. This was the perfect game of Pokemon Snap. Did you guys play Pokemon Snap? I oh. love Pokemon Snap. I'm with you a million percent. That should have they happened. They missed. fricked up by yeah. not remaking that on the Wii U. They can make up for it on by Pokemon putting Snap. it on the Switch. Or on the Switch, yeah. Please Pokemon put it Snap. on the Switch. Please take my money. I'm begging you to take oh, my money. Oh, I would money. be day one for a Pokemon, Pokemon Snap. I'd pay 60 bucks for a Pokemon Snap remake. Oh, I would love it. What do you say? Sup, fellow humans. What up, Will? <laughs> we gals and dwee bros. Yeah. <laughs> we gals and dwee bros. What's so Pikachu sometimes pops up with this icon to like shake the Joy-Con? So we're talking favorite Pokemon. We've got two Blastoise in the room. We've got one Arcanine, with a little flirting with Jirachi. You flirted with Jirachi a little bit. Blastoise was my... What in honor did I just do? Pika Papau? Pika Papau. Oh. Was that like a special move? <laughs> Pikachu was standing on top of the attack thing with a Joy-Con shaking it, so I shook the Pokeball, and that apparently is how oh. you do Pika Papau. Do Pika Papau. Pika Papau. Pika Papau. Pika Papau. Pick a pile. I like Zippy Zap that you were talking Zippy about. Zippy Zap's fine. I'll do that one now. Yeah, do some Zippy Zap. Do some Zippy Zap for the crowd. The other really sucky thing is my Pikachu's so strong that she never gets to actually yeah, help because I won. I won oh, yeah. you, everything. She's just as like holding a switch. So that is a cool thing if you're just joining in. I think that's really cool that you can just hand that off to somebody. You know, whether it's your friend, significant other, it'd be really good for like if my little cousin came over and it's like they have something to do yeah. while they're watching stuff. So anybody well, that's watching, it's somewhere. awesome because she doesn't have a switch. Yeah. So you don't need. A, this is like the first game that she was like, I just guess I can't get this game. Yeah. But then they showed the two-player thing, and I was like, Hey, we can play it together. Yeah. That's cool. Very cool. Favorite Pokemon? Hard to tell. On another note. Uh, thanks for Half-Life 3 tweet. Now, uh, the stakes are really up. Yeah, did you see what happened? Uh, I think... They, they've been tweeting too much. They've tweeted one too many tweets about Half-Life. And they're like, oh yeah, it's the 20th anniversary. And then they said something like, man, Half-Life's great or something. And it's like, there's too much, too much talk about a new Half-Life, like... I'd, I'll never believe that game's coming until <laughs> I see it on a shelf. I'll faint, even if they, I'll faint on stream if I see that. Even that if is. they announce it and they say it's in development and they give us a release date, yeah. I won't believe it's real until I it's, think, it's available for download, completed download, and I open it. Yeah, that's a believe it, believe it when you see it thing, huh? That's like that's been the biggest running joke yeah. forever. It, Half, I mean, Half Life Three confirmed. I mean, there was Final Fantasy Seven, there was Shenmue Three. Like we've got those now, and it's like that's the last like dream game I think to come out. Correct me if I'm wrong. That ha that is like the last like oh I wish they would make another blank. Like that's the one that no one has like stopped talking about. What's this guy doing? The party is winding down. The party is winding down. He don't feel good. Why, Why now? Why right before the VGA? Yeah, I'm with I'm with AOI 2012. We're, we've got a tinfoil hats on, and I'm with I'm with you on that. Um, you really think we're gonna get it? I there's 
I smell a skunk in the cellar. That's what I'm, that's all I'm gonna say with all this. There's too why much. Why would they? Why would they some, come back and do it after they release? Like I think it's gonna be for VR. I think they have got it figured out for VR. Why would they come? Didn't they release like the entire script of the game, like the whole story? That was for episode. So what they did is they had Half Life episode or Half Life Two episode one two came out, and then they never finished it. It ends on a cliffhanger. Episode two does. Right. That script thing was episode three script. It wasn't Half Life Three, so Half Life Three they might have grown into this whole other thing. So tune in in two weeks. That's when we'll know for VGAs. Uh, we'll see. Regardless, I think they'll they always have some good reveals. So, um, how is the Pokemon controller? <laughs> I think you can get this. This little thing is interesting. Okay, it sucks <laughs> to connect to things. I connected it very first to my Pokemon Go. And I didn't know, it doesn't tell you very much. There's a button up here. This button is like, serves as your start button. And then this is like your joystick. And That's can... crazy that this game is so easy and handhold, and they did not give anything for that. Like, how to so, <laughs> work that? The physical device is hard. So, I connected it to my That's the challenge. Pokemon Go, and then I couldn't figure out how to catch Pokemon with it, because... So what happens is you connect this to the Pokemon Go app. Can and I see close. it for a second? Yeah. Or you gotta take. Over I gotta. So take yeah, my engagement. Me. Take my engagement ring off to Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't know that was in there. <laughs> and then, uh, so you have to you put it into Pokemon Go and you connect it, and when you close out the app or whatever, and you're not on it, when there's a wild Pokemon or a stop nearby, you can click that top button in. And it will let you catch the Pokemon. Or it'll I'm gonna let a, you run this. I gotta be right back. It'll make an attempt at catching the Pokemon, and Sorry. the only way that you can do that is by pressing that top button. And I didn't even know that top button existed for a long time. It was really frustrating. So then we go to actually play the game, and I cannot figure out how to connect this to the Switch. I plugged it in with the USB-C cable that comes with it to the front of the switch. I'm trying to press the center button and, and turn it on. I'm trying to push the top button. I'm trying to do everything I can. I don't know what I actually did to get it to connect, but it finally connected and it did some kind of update and then it, it worked for a couple of days. And then today I connected it back to my uh, Pokemon Go while I was at work. And I just kept it in my sweatshirt pocket, and I, when it would go off like there was a Pokemon, I would just catch the Pokemon. And I go to connect it to this tonight, and I had to actually reset the controller. There's like a little old school, like, little tiny button that you need like a pin to reset. And I reset the controller, and then I finally was able to get it to connect to the Switch again. So it controls well. It feels good. Um... But it's very difficult to get to connect to things sometimes in my experiences that I've had with it so far. But I do like it. I mean, it looks neat. It it feels comfortable. This guy's chilling on a bed. He's lounging. Staying in bed doing nothing on my much-awaited cruise ship. What a luxury. Hmm. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm going to go down here and see what's going on. Probably more battles. Oh, hey. <laughs> I really don't know if we're getting Half-Life 3, guys. I really, <laughs> I really don't think we are. Look at this big old Machoke. I know. I, want, I almost wonder if those will be in the wild. Could you imagine like being in a cave and seeing that thing? Running around, like how do you, <laughs> how do you not run into that thing if it's in the wild? It's pretty tough not to. Yep, we are playing two players right now, so she can she has free control over. I don't know why you. Oh, we probably don't have a Pokemon out with us because we're on the ship right now. But both players can have a Pokemon out of the Pokeball running around with them. You do the double battles, but you. Don't actually. The only actual double battle I've done was with Jesse and James from Team Rocket. So they sent out Coughing and Ekans in Mount Moon. Um, but in that particular scene, she actually couldn't play. They they kick out the second player when they do like story moments or whatever. They'll kind of warp the second player out, and then 
warp them back in after you're done with the important story moment. I'm almost interested to see if you'll be able to fight with me in the Elite Four. Yeah, because I'm, I've been able to fight in gyms so far. Yeah, it let her fight in the gym, but it kicked her out for Team Rocket. And then, like, regular battles like this, it's just two on one. They don't do the double battles, even if they have two Pokemon. Another weird thing about this controller is when you're holding it, if you don't be careful not to like turn it in the slightest, you will start running like the wrong direction or not move your cursor in the right direction that you want to take it. There's no like, there's nothing on it that makes you really know that you're holding it straight, if that makes any sense. Thunder at level what? Well. <laughs> Thunder at level 30. If I remember right, in Pokemon Yellow, Pikachu learned Thunder at like level 62 or 63. I'm at level 30, and I'm learning Thunder. I, I don't... I don't know what I want to give up to... I guess I'll give up Light Screen. So I want to keep Double Kick as a physical attack. Yeah, the, they've kept the music, like the battle scenes and things like that, all the same. The classic music and everything like that. It, I mean, it's it's obviously modernized a little bit, but yeah. all the sound effects, everything like that. Even something I noticed, like, if you look um, on the doors of the ships, it has, like, the old school writing that, like, you, you could barely make out on the signs of the old, like, uh, Game Boy Color signs and stuff like that. So all the text that's like in writing on the games and stuff, because they've, you're so zoomed in and you have such better like graphics now, they still have kept that almost like that same font that they had all the old text in on the Game Boy games, which is really neat. What is this guy? Somebody I like that. feisty kids like you. Sometimes in Pokemon games, some of the things that the people say are just a little weird. They're a little odd. <laughs> This should be interesting. I almost want to just use Thunder just to see what the animation looks like. It'll probably miss. I'm not gonna do too good with this either. Is it probably better? No, just kill him. Wow. Well, I still took it down anyway. <laughs> it's not very effective. <laughs> but it one shot hit a bang away. Pidgeotto level 27. Portoro used tackle on the air. I wonder if Zippy Zap will one shot it. I know. I'm almost basically useless this fight. Did it. Okay. Yeah, I also don't get as many experience points as you do. I'm sure the experience to the party is also somewhat diminished too. Let's see what kind of cool things we got in here. So something else um, different about the way they did this. So like regular old items are just kind of they kind of hang out in here. Then you have like the clothing trunk where you can uh, put clothes on. Like which I didn't even know I got this sailor cap to put on Pikachu. But also you can make your Pikachu like match you as far as the original clothes that you get in the game. Um, 
but then you also have like the bag that's just for like catching things which is like where you keep the pokeballs and the like the assist berries that make them easier to catch and the battle pocket which is like where from what i can tell the mega stone's going to go in there for like mega evolution which is freaking awesome i can't wait for that and then there's your like power up pocket where you would keep like your stones to evolve them and then your TM case and then your um, medicine pocket and everything like that. But they completely. Oh, did sorry. That whole... There was a Growlithe at the door. Did you catch it? It got away. That's sad. Because my Pokeball kept disconnecting. <laughs> <laughs> I had a full on conversation about this thing. Did you? Yeah. Gave him uh, a whole. Uh... Interesting point. With the level, earlier leveling of attacks, do you know if the same applies for evolution of Pokemon? The Pokemon have evolved at the same level so far. So, so they might have kept that. The same. something you just missed, my Pikachu just leveled up to level 30. Yeah. It learned Thunder, which is like one of the strongest yeah. electric type moves. So they've changed moves around. Pikachu learned Thunder and Pokemon Yellow at like 62 or something. Oh, he's got a hat on now. Yeah, I put a hat on him. I showed him like the clothing thing <laughs> that you can do. So I guess you kind of didn't get to see that either. So you can go through and put hats and clothes. So there's like a little nice. silver tee or like the little oh, jacket. that's cute. Yep. So uh, you saw the picture you tweeted. Had Pikachu yeah. and the team with the Team Rocket shirt. I did that because it almost looked like a Dweebro's official Pikachu. <laughs> was my thinking on that. So I put uh, the little hat on him. But did you notice this too? Did you, um, in the older games when you like saw signs and stuff, there was like a little bit of text on them. Yeah. And it had a certain like font to it. This, they copied that font over to these signs and things like that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's like a, just a it's little detail. But alphabet, like, but it almost was, it kind of just was they couldn't just have Yeah, that. it was so for so they just the use these weird block style letters that's, that's, and that's they've cool. moved that onto like signs and doors and things like that. Yeah. Here, we're going to take out Huey with my hat of Pikachu. That is a nice touch of it, I say. But yeah, my level 30 Pikachu now knows Thunder. That is a strong one. And it wears a hat while it destroys you. And can you level up this Raichu or to Raichu or are you just You stuck? can't. But, oh, but you? unlike Pokemon Yellow, you can find Pikachu in the wild. Okay. They were in Viridian Forest all over the place. So I caught one that just for the sake of the Pokédex entry, I will evolve into yeah, a Raichu. Raichu. But you, also, can't, you can't do this one now. He won't go to No, Raichu. he won't evolve. Wow. I also, um, I have an Alolan Raichu that I want to bring into the game from, um, from Pokémon GO. Yeah. The cool thing about Alolan Raichu is that it's electric and psychic. So the you, Alohan versions, all that stuff, that is so beyond me. Like what I, is going I on like this? some of them a lot. Like having a Raichu that knows Psychic and Thunder, and it's cool because it like rides on its tail. Have cool. you seen that? Mm -hmm. Here, I'll. I'll oh, show is it a surfboard? Or yeah, it uses its tail like a surfboard almost. What does the Dwee Gal say about the Detective Pikachu trailer? Did you see the de Did you see it? Mm -mm. You okay. haven't seen the trailer for it? No. You want to do a live reaction? Live reaction. Have a pull up on your phone. Here, let me. I've and heard I, I want to play this. About it, but you want to play? Yeah, I want to play. Okay, let me get unengaged again. So we're gonna do with one eye oh, watch wait, that watch that? the game, and with the other eye watch the reaction. I think I've seen a picture of it. I haven't seen the trailer yet. Welcome. I might actually throw this at the TV and break it. Why didn't you grab this yet? I fought the trainer first. Oh, okay. You just came in this room. Super. Pressure, this is like a live action thing. Yes. I'm a girl, dude. Yeah. I got a Pikachu on my shoulder. Have we got on the serum yet? Uh, yeah. You did? I fought that guy. He, uh, I walked up to him and he said, I like feisty little kids like you. Nice. I've been in all the Very ones nice. there. I haven't been in the ones that way. Oh, yikes. What are you doing? What are you thinking about Pikachu? So far, reaction. He's a little 
creepy. Since when does he talk? Hey, Besides his name. Talking. Go that way. Go left. Oh my god, you can understand me! Stop. I've been so lonely! The drug talks to me all the time. All I hear is Pika Pika. You can hear me. Go ahead. What even is this? What even is this? Is her words. What up, Samurai Warfare? We're talking all things Pokemon tonight. She's watching the Pokemon Detective Pikachu trailer for the first time. I'm going thunder on this thing. We're destroying it. <laughs> How creepy is that Mr. Mime look? Extremely. Why did I use the... Did I use Thunder? You on? missed. I missed? I hate it when that happens when you only have like 6 PP like moves in the old one or whatever. Why would they do this? Why would they do this? So, I didn't hate it. I don't like it. I'm in the middle. I'm gonna I, give it a chance. I, yeah. I, I, I am just flabbergasted that <laughs> I was seeing just people just like, this looks incredible. I don't get it, but again, I'm not crapping on anybody's parade, whatever they want to do. It's good, it's fine by me, but I just, for some reason, seeing Pikachu talk with a deep manly <laughs> Ryan yeah. Reynolds voice. And you know who the original <laughs> voice actor is going to be? Danny DeVito. Oh, really? And it's like, could you imagine if they had Danny DeVito doing that Pikachu? <laughs> like, when I read it... So then, even seeing the trailer, and it's like, why is Pikachu a detective? Why is... I, I don't know. Like, it, a live-action Pokemon movie doesn't sound crazy to me, but this just sounds like, who's this for? But I saw people excited about it, so... Maybe I'm out of the loop. I'm intrigued. Maybe. I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm very interested to see how it turns out. They've never... Well, I take that back. Never mind. I was going to say they've never made something that's not good, but they have. <laughs> uh, why would they do this sums it up perfectly, says. <laughs> you know Samurai, what's your favorite Pokemon, dude? It was always uh, fun as a kid. Um... I think Pokemon just summed up every single day's, like, discussion at school. Like, okay, yeah. trading, and, like, then when the cards came out, it was that. We were trying to collect those. The OCD side of me, like, obsessive collecting part just, like, was living the dream. I... Okay, which way do I gotta go now? This way? You can just go all the way right and it's out of here. I've been in all those rooms. I kick myself for this whenever I talk about it and think about it, but I had all... 151 like well I guess they did it differently I had all the Pokemon yeah but I they did it in like the basic set and then the jungle set and then the fossil set and I had all three of those sets complete with the cards wow. I had the ancient Mew card I had the ancient the, Mew card the yeah, cards was, that you could only that get card was awesome because it just was all higher glyphs. yeah like it didn't there even were work. Le the legendary birds that you could only get from the movies, and you had to go back and see it like multiple times to get all the cards. Oh I had gosh. everything. And some cards came in holographic and some didn't, like Muck. There was a holographic Muck and there was a non holographic yeah. Muck. I made sure to get like the holographic version of each of them. How did you get Charizard? I got Charizard, I got Charizard for Christmas. Actually, I have a picture that I will it's show you. It's funny how that was the rarest card. Like, for some reason, that happened, but. I had a friend that had it, and I tried to trick him into trading. <laughs> it didn't really work. Didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> if, if I can find this picture, my uh, mom got this picture of me opening the Charizard card for Christmas, <laughs> oh, that's and awesome. I have my reaction. I I just I have to find it, but I got that for Christmas. That was one of the last ones that I needed, but I had just about every every single card that you could have. And I sold them all to some guy. Should I battle this guy? 
Go for it. He's a coach trainer. So he's, he's going to be a little bit more difficult. Than, okay, I'm ready for But you're going to be way over leveled, so you're going to destroy him. I'm going to throw this at the TV. Without, oh, no, I'm going to put my engagement ring on. Coach trainer will. Alright, we're going to give Ratatata a double kick. Double kick was so annoying. Any of those moves that had a chance that of doing hit more, more than yeah. yeah. Oh, on the Game Boy, Fury so slides. slow. Yeah, it was like hit it for once, hit it again. It could go up to like six or seven. It's like you are killing my time. Cool. Did I miss my double kick? Or did I hit? He hit. We're gonna go classic Thunderbolt. That Have you game. ran into anything that was a challenge in this game yet? That like no. this was the biggest <laughs> challenge I've had so far, actually. I don't think we've even fainted once. There was um, one of those coach trainers had a like a level twelve Bulbasaur when I had like my level fourteen or something yeah. Pikachu, and my Pikachu wasn't strong enough to take it down, so I actually had to switch Pokemon once. Oh, did you? One time. So would you say that's the biggest negative of the game? Too? Yes, absolutely. But at the same time, I knew it was going to be that, so I can't... Yeah. I guess it's a little easier than I thought it was going to be. But, like, I can't fault them for... They, they told us what they it was. They had a bark at, yeah. They, for what they, they were said exactly what this thing was oh, going to be when they I found the picture. Oh, there's a drowsy. That's awesome. Should I... Send this to you for you to put in, or should I go over to the camera? Hey, and, if, and if show you make them? the if you make the podcast, let's put it in that. Okay, we'll see it then or someday. It was a cool picture. So they also they tricked me. So that's not a Charizard. That's like a Kadabra or something. Yeah. They I opened it and they were like, look, it was in the case, and they were like, I like looked at it and they were like, turn it around. And I flipped it, because that's why, why uh, would I be freaking out at the back of a picture? Yeah, yeah. It's, the back of the card was where they had the, char the oh, actual awesome. Charizard inside of it. But my face was... We got mine from, uh, my parents used to sit up at the flea market. And that is like, as a kid... That place was a gold mine. For that, yeah, that was kind of where I thought those things were, like Pokemon card. Like, they had them... In different packs, probably like Kmart's and all that yeah. other stuff. But like for me, I was up there so often with my parents that like the flea market is like that's where they're at. Um, let's I'm gonna do Zippy Zap. Let's get classic, the classic Zippy Zap. Um, but um, we got one from there. Finally, they bought me one one day or whatever. Like how much? How, do you know how much? I was? can't remember. I, they I were stupid. Ask. They were super expensive, yeah. Uh, so, have you ever had a moment where, like, you know you're looking for something specific and you kind of know you're going to get it? Like, I'll give you an example. The other day, Brittany and I were out playing Pokemon Go. Yeah. And I had this gut feel, and I was like, let's do this raid for an Absol. Yeah. And Absol has a one in, like, four. Absol's the thing with the half moon on yes. the side, right? I don't know how I know that. But it, I know it. It's like a 1 in 450 chance of being shiny. Alright? Yeah. I had this weird feeling like I was going to get a shiny. Yeah. And we go out and do it, and I got the shiny. And, which is weird, but... Your focus sense was taken. What, what is that? Uh, so the red glowing means that it's above that average crazy? size. Oh, nice. Uh, the blue glowing means that it's below average size. Go to that eradicate. I don't have one of those yet. Do you have one of those? I also don't have a dress. Should I get the other one down here because it's not No, get lower. the small one. Get the small one? Because you get more experience for the size That's bonus. weird. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> Did we really have to fight this guy right now? <coughs> so, uh, I had that feeling one time with... So we went to Kmart. was closing down. Yeah. They were liquidating all their Pokemon cards. The one down here? Close to the... Yes. Thing? Okay. I grabbed three packs... Yeah. And I I looked at the packs and I was like I was looking for the shiny Gyarados card. Yeah. They made a card for the shiny Gyarados. And I was like, I got it. It's gonna be in this pack. And I opened it up and it was in this pack. It was That's in weird. that pack. It was really weird. 
but I got the shiny Gyarados card from that pack. That is weird. Um... I have, had that I've had that feeling before with people. Like, uh, when Blockbuster was still around, I was at Blockbuster, <laughs> and I hadn't saw my cousin in a while. And for some reason, I was like, I, yeah, I've had that I'm going to see her. I was like, she's going to be here. Yeah. And one minute later, she walked in the door when we were like shopping for store, like looking, renting movies or whatever. She walked in, and I was like, how did I, you know what I mean? Like, how nostalgic does this make you for like back in the blockbuster day? Like, oh yeah, this throws me back to renting because I rented Pokemon Red for the first time. Oh, you time. did? I never yeah. rented any handheld. Games. I rented Pokemon Red. I was, yeah, I was... and then I convinced my parents to buy me Pokemon Blue. Kenny's, I Blue. Kenny's story sounds like some tinfoil hat stuff. I agree, but we it felt is tinfoil it. hat. We felt it. You know what I don't feel? Half Life Three. <laughs> oh, no, some cool moves. My sister has the Let's Go Eevee game, and so she tells me different things that her Eevee can learn, and just learned Glitzy Glow and Batty Bad. Glitzy Glow Batty and Bad? Batty, Batty Bad. 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 <laughs> That's another thing that... I think you're going to like a move. Goo Goo Gaga is going to be the next one. Are they embracing, on. like, the little kid... I don't like, know. What is that? A batty bad? Zippy zap? Glitzy glow. Glitzy glow. Get that. <laughs> I got that radicate. Alright. Alright. We have to do it at the same time. And I just toss it? I don't have to press like, it. Do you see it pop up? It's tiny. Okay, get ready. Get ready. So you have to get ready. Okay. You wait for me. We'll go now. We'll get get the, 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 the next one we'll there. Okay. It's okay. You're not my fiance. We're not supposed to be in <laughs> Try getting that. Okay. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh. <laughs> you gotta wait for the circle. Oh, uh, okay. What? It's like Pokemon Go. You wanted to get it when the circle's kind of small. So just watch. Just kind of watch me. Okay. That's an excellent. We are in sync. Touche, Kenny. <laughs> God, he's in. in. Did you he's hear him growl at you in the ball? Yeah. And, and it has that that vibration, like yeah, the, the vibration's the, awesome. That Nintendo is all about their yeah. what do they call it? Hi, uh, Rumble HD. Rumble HD. HD. Rumble or whatever. HD Rumble or whatever. So then your whole party gets the same amount of experience. They each get 957 points. So that makes leveling up really good in this game. Like it's not yeah. as difficult. Because the other ones, they kind of. You have they, to grind. They gave everybody it, but not as not equal. Yeah, and you still service. have to grind. Hmm. There's no grinding in this game. Nice. They don't let you rename it. You can't. You you can go into the menu and rename okay. the Pokemon right away. Go get that uh, drowsy up there. Oh. Is this guy gonna? Yeah, he will. Me. He will fight. I'll wait. You. I'll wait. There we go. Here, I'll hand it back over to you guys. Okay. Do you want to play? You can still be the second player. Uh, no, you guys can play. Okay. Another poke. I'm trying to think of other Pokemon stories. Taros being the hardest freaking Pokemon, that was like that... <laughs> I do that have one a, drove uh, me nuts as a kid. I do have a similar one to your thinking that the Pokemon Center was going to steal your Pokemon. Yeah, what was up with um, that? I had... A fear that the people who, because I ran into one of these people on the uh, on the boat, that was like, "Oh, let me heal your Pokemon for you." Yeah. And I always thought those people would steal your money. Yeah. Uh, and why did we think that? I don't, now it's like we would just play Pokemon. We're cynical little play. children. I just think as a kid, you you still have that kind of imagination. You're just like, "Oh, that can happen." It's like now they're adults. Like, oh, okay, I know the game would not. Take my Pokemon, like yeah. Well, I used to be afraid that you like wouldn't get to do things in the game if you didn't go to the trainer school. So I would go in there. <laughs> oh, and see, I don't. There. Why did we all do that? Like, <laughs> does anyone in the chat have that like a weird thing you did in the game, like that made no sense? Like, go back. Like, I went back to the freaking Pallet Town every time I had the hill because I thought the Poke Center was gonna take. Did my you um, Pokemon? Like, did you ever try anything weird? Like, yes, <laughs> well, in yeah. life, yeah. Yeah. I get weird. Uh, I mean, like, so, there was the theory that, uh, what was it? 
If oh, like went, schoolyard rumors. And if stuff you like went that? behind Bill's house, you could catch Pika Blue, which was Meryl. And the only reason we thought Meryl was Pika Blue was because that Pokemon movie came out, and it had Don Fan and Meryl in it, and Togepi, and maybe even Snubble. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about Togepi. I do remember stuff with Meryl. It oh, had wow. those That's second gen Pokemon in it, yeah. and everyone thought Meryl was. Pika Blue. Yeah. They called it Pika Blue. That's and funny. Yeah, because it people did think it was a Pikachu type. There was wow. rumors that you could get Pika Blue by. I don't remember the Pika Blue stuff, but I do remember people going, "Oh, that's a Pikachu something." Yeah. Like, and so and we then, never saw new Pokemon. Like you know, what I mean, we only saw those originals. So it's like, what is a new Pokemon? Like, yeah, and they did, be, Yeah, it was one of the first. You movie. like you're a kid. You're not really listening to what their names are and things yeah. like that too. So it was like. I, I don't know. It was Dragon Rage. Nice. Missingo still makes no sense today. Missingo is one of my favorite glitches. Weird, like Gen One is full things. of glitches too. Yeah, like but Missingo. I I called him Missingo, and it yeah. ended up being a Charizard with Pikachu's powers, like stuff like that. Like uh, mine it's always all turned based, into Clefables. It's all based on like your the name you chose as a trainer, like what you get. Like what kind of are like, you serious? Yeah, and that's how stats work too. Is like what names, like what uh, something that, that uses that, like what letters are in the name that you chose at the beginning of the game. So, um, there was also the other glitch of you being in the truck down here. Do you yeah, remember that or not the glitch, but the rumor. Yes, and it actually was true. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was, because I watched, shout out, game trailers, rest in peace. They did a, like, thing, because I always thought it was fake, too, and they showed that there was a way to, like, do that, is to get that mute. No. Nah. Yeah, look it up after this. I don't, I don't believe you. I'm calling fake news on this. It's not fake news. It's true, truth news. Um, yeah, that one I never got figured out till I saw that, and then uh, Rare Candies. Using the rare candy. That's the same Masingo. It's the same. Like, yeah, whatever item was in like your sixth slot or whatever. Yeah. You would get it. it Man, would I wish items. they would have Masingo like. There would be a way. If you did the same trick or did whatever, you know it that would there bring was, it up. But it'd be an actual Pokemon, of course. Did you know that would be funny if they brought it into this game? Oh, please. Did you know out. that there was supposed to be a fight after Gary or Blue, whatever, yeah. in the Elite Four with Professor Oak? Yeah, I did get it. In the that. original game. But we didn't get it. But we didn't get it. They cut it. There were also some really weird I think that, that was that, already hard, the Elite Four, those fights and Gary and all that stuff. Or there was also a really weird, um, like, it, it just came out, like, a few months to maybe a year ago. Yeah. Of Pokemon that were never released. And there are some really weird... Oh, of Gen 1? Of Gen 2. It was like Gen 2 never released oh, Pokemon. Weird. I'm going to fight my rival now. You're going to see how easy this is. I'm on the game show. Sorry to be over for the VGA stream. I will be watching the Easy Allies stream. Those guys are great. Former game... Yeah, those are the former game trailer people. They went to a place called Ge or Easy Allies. They started their own thing. I see how it is AI 2012, but we will be archived. Yes, you can watch later. Yeah. We didn't just start. We didn't even start doing the live thing until this past E3 for reactions for that. Yeah. So no problem. So the internet allows us to. We're gonna stream that live. We're gonna stream it live. Nice. Yeah, while we're watching live. We haven't done that too much. Yeah. But I'm excited that we're able to. It took about two or three events into E3 to figure it all out. It's mm -hmm. kind of a. Let's torch this little plant. You should have used water gun because it's going to need cooled off after I thunder it. <laughs> Has she been able to play once? She's going to now. Oh, she did. Well, she also did. And you were just going to take it down. <laughs> she also did. Um, oh, see? She, I took it down. She just took Odyssey the rest of the way down. Nice. There was another one I used like double kick on and she ended up finishing it off too. <laughs> Zippy Zap. Oh, that's your arch nemesis, dude. It's the other game. It's dead. 
I feel like Pikachu versions outsold the Eevee version. Uh, is what that would true? make you think that? Oh, is, is Eevee like? But Eevee's kind of popular too. Not as it's Pikachu. Yeah, Pikachu's like the original Pokemon. This guy thinks I've gotten strong. AOI says, "Can't wait for Kenny's reaction of Half Life 3." <laughs> I will concede defeat. If... I'll pass out, dude. You'll have to c cut the stream for me. What's Pikachu want? What's Pikachu want? He's mad. He wants to fight. He wants to like punch you in the nose. He enjoys playing with the Pokemon. I named my rival after my roommate, who's been my roommate for. <laughs> Six years or so. I was wondering if you named him. I was like, Adam, yeah. like, why would they name I named him after because we're, I asked Brittany, I was like, who am I always, like, in competition with or always, like, getting into, you yeah. know, spats with, like, friendly spats? And she was like, Adam. I would, tell me if this is lame. It is. I've already told you. When you had to name, like, other trainer, like, I would name them after friends and, like, yeah. I would name my pets after whatever. But I also, if there was girls in the game, I named them after my crushes at the time. <laughs> did you guys do that at all? I like, did not do that. See, I'm the lamest person in the room. But I always named them after crushes different, like, Final Fantasy X had you naming different, like, girl summon things. I was like, that's my crush. Like, I just put that as... <laughs> Very embarrassing, but, you know, just... What did you want from me? Yeah. Teach me. So this is like the HM thing. So they don't teach them to Pokemon anymore. So you no longer have HM slaves. Like what yeah, they used to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He's teaching it to Pikachu, apparently. But the HM is now like a human thing. Like, it's... You can fly. You just flutter your... Look, see? Chop down. So the humans learn now. So Lucky is my Pikachu. That was... That Which, that's after. a good fix. That's a good change, I think, because you would keep a Pokemon in your party just to fly or just to cut. Mm -hmm. It's like... That made sense on the Game Boy with, like, eight bytes of memory. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You need... That's a good change. So, like you said, Lucky is my Pikachu, and that is named after the one and only cat that I've ever had that was a good, <laughs> a good cat. I used to name all my starter Pokemon after all my pets. Yeah. So, like, I had... I even, like, named them after my stupid goldfish. Like, I had goldfish that had names, and yeah. I would name them after Any all Any pets that. or, po like, the Pokemon I would name after. Uh, even in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can name the horse. I named it Bella after my parents' dog. <laughs> like, it's... I don't know. Like, this is... What we got? We got some... Oh, oh cutscene. Cut Aren't you supposed to be on the ship or the ship leaves at first? No, it leaves. Oh, it's gone. Confetti. But you're able to, you get on it later, don't you? Come back or something happens? I you get on the ship, I think you? it's gone. Yeah, and back gone. here was where the truck used to be, but they've completely removed it. Ah, uh, bad Unless, change. No, because you could... S there was some weird way where sometimes the ship would, would stay... It, I, I don't quite remember how I it I feel worked. like you can get on the ship and it goes... You can use it to go... You can surf place. here, apparently, because it gives you the... The water is moving gently. What's this person doing? Whoa. She just jumped up in the sky. She looks like she's been playing Splatoon. <laughs> yeah, she does. It's like... She does. She's cosplaying as Splatoon. Yeah, I've been playing Splatoon. She looks very uninterested. Yeah, she seems kind of not jazzed. She's got a dead body in her backpack. Yeah, I just killed someone. I killed an eel. Fairy type? Yeah. But there shouldn't be fairy type There in. shouldn't in this one, but um, Clefairy is. What this? Mina. Jigglypuff. Mina, that takes me back. We had a friend that had a dog named Mina, and uh, it always it was not potty trained well, and we always said Mina Pina on the floor. Mina Pina on the floor. <laughs> I remember every that. single time, and it was like such. It was like not. We were having a good time. Uh, she was not. Mina Pina on the floor. Hey, Mina Pina on the floor.
Who is this person? And why is she covered in paint? Me and the Pino Mr. Mime! He's not fairy, is he? About to be, he is now. He's about to be fairy zapped. He's about to be zippity zoobda. Goo goo gaga. I also like blah this. blah blah blah. There's gonna be moves blah 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 blah. You guys are gonna get, and you just the Pokemon just talks. This Danny DeVito talks out of the mouth of Pokemon. <laughs> this little ring is fun to do this with. I that like. looks like a crazy like. Have you seen the like jewelry some girls have, and it goes up like right here, yeah. almost like goth or something? Like that's what that reminds me of. I'm like, dude, you're like part goth. Part goth. No oh, wonderful. We got a part goth here. She's gonna draw a picture of us. Really? Oh, she's from Alola. Oh, she came over to here. Oh, well, she missed her boat, so she stuck. What this? Oh, he's gonna tell me how to cut down the tree. He's gonna hand my hold my hand a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's like why couldn't you have done that? Like, I, I know where the tree is at. You want to tell me which trash cans the switches are under this time, too? I oh, always hate you, I heard this about this. Oh, yeah. I heard about this. Go into this, Jim, because what you're saying is actually true. Like, they simplified this so bad. Like, So how does catching the legendaries work in this? I don't know. Like, when you go to the caves, or Zapdos, when you go to that, um, that power plant, like, does, is, it is, just takes a lot of Pokeballs? Like, really, I, mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I really don't. That's gonna be interesting. I, I would hope that it, maybe it'll let you fight, though. What the? No. I saw that Magikarp flop around. I was like, is that thing just chilling there? Maybe it'll let you fight him. So they colored the ones you need. Because before, it just was all this gray, and you had to figure out which one it was. <laughs> so they literally just colored the switches. Oh, my God. I saw this online, and I was like, well, that, that takes away the challenge? Like, <laughs> why even put the fence there? Just let me walk through it. <laughs> yeah, they were going to tell me what to do. <laughs> then don't even oh, I wonder fence. what I should do. There's two. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a trick. But wasn't that where the old one's at? I don't know. No, it changed all the time. And if you clicked like the wrong one, it would reset it. So okay, the guys would give back. you hints and it would say, oh, I pushed the switch. And it would say it's right next to it, but if you push the wrong one, yeah, it'll reset it. Okay, I take it back. Take my apology, okay, Pokemon. I'm gonna fight these clowns. Did you jump out or did it kick you out? No, I'm still here. <laughs> so you're still recovering from the Detective Pikachu trailer. <laughs> it's just yeah. zoning out. With, uh... Do you think? Do you think they will make a Let's Go like uh, Meryl or a Let's Go like? I think I think that's the next move. They'll do something with Silver and they'll remake Silver. I I don't see it. Just th this was the because remember when they did fire red and leaf green? Yeah. They never did like a third version to that. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically they did heart gold and sold silver too, but why not? Why not? Why can't they? I just really there's not like an iconic because some people really they think silver and gold's the best. I almost agree with them. Yeah. I had the most fun with... I I love these for the nostalgia. Yeah, this but is classic. But silver and gold, like... I like silver and gold. That had, that had two games in it. Yeah. You and got to go back to the original place, yeah. That game... It was like... If that came out now, it would be DLC to go back to Kanto. Yeah, it would be. It would be. <laughs> and wasn't it Iwata who did it? It was Iwata. Weren't they having trouble fitting it and Iwata said, I'm going to do this and I'm going to put the original game on there too. Yeah, here's an Iwata story. Uh, my laptop just died so I wanted to use my uh, phone top. Not my laptop. Um, they were having trouble fitting it because the memory on the Game Boy is so low. It's so, you can't have so much, you don't have so much information They're trying to pack it in. And they, uh, 
they called in King Iwata, and he came in there and rewrote some stuff and fit not only the stuff they needed in, but the whole other Kanto. Is that the you know, yeah? Fit the whole original place in there. So uh, pretty unbelievable. And then added that fight with Red in the end, like that's insane. Yeah. So the guy, uh, the guy who beat the whole Red and Blue. You want his last troll, AOS. <laughs> the guy who... Uh, you want his last good thing. The guy who beat the whole old um, red and blue or whatever with the ditto. Yeah. Tried to do the same thing with silver and gold. Yeah. Um, the only thing he could not do was beat red. He said even when he tried to cheat, uh, he, could, he couldn't do wow. it. Yeah, silver... Now, I think I beat blue and red and yellow or whatever. I went back and beat those. Like, I beat those all, like, back-to-back -back or whatever. Um, but when it got to... I'd also, because I had such overpowered Pokemon, I would transfer them the first chance I got. When I would start, like, Pokemon Red up, I transferred, like, the strongest Pokemon I had from Blue. And it would always, like... Do you remember? It was, like, if you weren't trained a certain level, it wouldn't listen to you. The Pokemon would have trouble listening to you. But I didn't care. I was so high level that even if I, like... He didn't listen to me sometimes, mm -hmm. I would just take the hits. Yeah. And then to use it, it always made it like an easier trip for me. Um, but silver and gold, I don't know. No. I think this that would is be the, devastating. I think this is the most damage my Pikachu has had on it. But yeah, I've only beat, of the Pokemon games, which po what's ones have you beat? I beat Blue, Red, Yellow, X and Y. You beat them both? No, just X, sorry. X, and then I beat uh, Omega... Ruby. I went back and that's when I finally beat that gym. But that's that's the only ones. I've only beat three I did generations. yellow with my brother and sister. And then I did fire red and leaf green. Oh! Um, and then I got stuck in fire red <laughs> after I already beat that. I beat ruby. Um, and then I think what came after that one? Was that one diamond and pearl? Pearl. Came out? Diamond pearl. I beat pearl. And then I had was that uh, black and white after that? I didn't play those. Was uh, not that was heart, it was heart gold, soul silver. I did not get to do those. So then I had yeah, I never played white. Those. I got white two, and then omega ruby, and then was that one X and Y? Yeah, X and Y, and then Y, and then Sun and Ultra Sun. Yeah, I've beaten red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal, and I did beat all three of them separately. I beat. Um, Ruby and Sapphire. I never beat Emerald. Um, actually, I played Emerald on a ROM once because <laughs> uh, I have it. Yeah. And um, Emerald ch has some pretty crazy changes. In it. it has it this does. power or something. Yeah, it has some pretty crazy changes. I, I never, I never I got Emerald. I barely was... remember it because I sped it up and played through it really fast just to play through it. Yeah. Because on the ro on the emulators you can do that. Yeah, yeah. I beat Diamond. I beat X, or was it X? No, I beat Y. I have Y. And I beat Su Pokemon Sun. I am halfway through Alpha Sapphire. And I really want to go back and play it. It is just really hard for me to be into handhelds. Yeah. Like, it yeah. is, it's well, weird. Like, well, you're kind of right moved to the Switch, too. Yeah. Where you can, like, pick it up, take it with you, and, like, that is, like, on such an older system. You're like, yeah, I'm on Switch now. Like, I beat Soul Silver. I love Soul Silver. Gosh, Soul Silver was one of the. Best I want to play that because it's I, one of the best things they've ever done. For and they had, that one, had they had that little thing too. That gave yeah, you that the little, Poco Pal. Poco yeah, they were, they, that was the you know, predecessor to this. Like, yeah, like, being able to walk around with it. But that was just like, as a Pokemon fan, Silver. Was probably my favorite. They added the day and night system. They added the day and night system back in. They, you could pick any Pokemon and it would walk behind you, in Soul Silver, 
It didn't matter what oh, it was. Oh, yeah, that's you right. You could have any Pokemon walk behind you. Right. Um, they they just it was complete fan service. They give you um, they let you pick from the starters from um, red and blue and yeah. from ruby and sapphire at the end of the game. Oh, so like I got like a Mudkip and I got a um, a Charmander. Like, pretty cool. At the end of the game, I have those. Um, I bought them when I was into collecting stuff a couple years ago. I will. I do want to check those out because uh, they're really good. I really would recommend, especially, uh, I mean, Silver was my favorite version, yeah. so, of, the, of that gen. I got Silver, yeah. It's in the same freaking trash can as it was. Well, that's that's fine, but I just thought the colored ones, <laughs> maybe it was tripping you up. All right, there well, isn't a switch uh, in any trash cans next to the red trash can. You know what, we'll let you get, are you almost to the thing, or the, have you battled everybody? Found it. it the, All right, the we'll, one guy said, it's not next to any red ones. We'll wrap up the said. stream after you beat this boss, I think you'll, or gym leader, I think you'll beat him in like two hits though. Maybe not, maybe I should uh, not use Pikachu for an electric type gym. <laughs> they, they didn't, didn't hold my, good I do either. they didn't hold my hand on this one as much right, get, though. Get Carmelian. Charmeleon, yeah. Million. They didn't hold my hand. They didn't make me show them a Pokemon of a certain type before they let me fight him. Good night and happy Thanksgiving to all the Dwee Gals and Dwee Bros. Thanks for joining in, AOI. Yeah, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Big and brassy nerves. We're going to beat this guy. With my puny power. We're going to beat this guy with big and brassy nerves. <laughs> He's in full military gear. Lieutenant Surge. What kind of armies do they have in Pokemon? <laughs> what do they do? Yeah, what Pokemon do they use? Like Rhinox or not Rhinox? Uh, Rhinox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, freaking uh, not the Transformer. Rhinox. Uh, Rhinox is for Transformers, right? I don't know. Where's Rhinox from? I think it's Transformers. Um, Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Rhyhorn and Rhydon. Yeah, that's us. By War Turtle. You want to send out my Pikachu? Sure. Dragon Rage. It only does 40. Like now, do they have multiple Pokemon or just one? He has three. Oh, okay. I'm going to let so Brittany use Pikachu. This will be your first challenge. Pikachu with a hat. Here you go. Here's a throwback to your favorite moves. The ones that use multiple attacks. Double kick, oh my gosh. It's still slow. <laughs> you think you can just do it really fast, like oh one hit, two hit, three hit. Tormillionaire. Use um just use oh I'll use Ember, that should take him out. Just use double kick or something. That's what I was gonna do. Nice. It's super effective. And so will this. Super effective. Alright. For Raichu, you gotta use Thunder. Pikachu is better than your Raichu. Do you remember in the show when Ash fought this gym? No. He uh, took his Pikachu to fight Lieutenant Surge. Yeah. And he went and got a Thunderstone. And he contemplated evolving Pikachu into a Raichu so he could beat his Raichu. And Pikachu didn't want to evolve. Oh, but wow. like, it was like a conflict like between him and Pikachu. Like, do you want to do this? I don't know. Do you want to do this? 
And it was like a really emotional thing, and then he didn't do it. He went and trained Pikachu and came back and kicked his butt. Nice. Nice, Ash. So what would you say your favorite Pokemon game is? Legitimate Surge is autograph. Thanks, Legitimate Shirts. I would Shirts. say, um... I think the original for me, I'm not even saying they're the best. I think they've improved over time, like, mechanics-wise, I think. But to me, the original it was so simple, but you could really get it more complex. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. the battling and making sure types and stuff or whatever, like, you could make it, you know, collecting. But, like, playing with friends back then, how simplistic it was on the Game Boy made it so fun to, like, on the playground. Like, hey, let's link up, let's trade, let's... Yeah. That, to me, is, like, my most fondest... It's it's my... It's in my top three. It's my third, like, favorite game of all time. Like, those original ones. So. I would say probably... It's cool to see this again, and because of that reason, but... Yellow is probably still my number one. That was my favorite game as a kid. Yeah. Um, just... That was the one that tried to stick most true to the show. Yeah. Um... I also played that the most because for whatever reason the battery would die in that one all the time, like the save battery. Oh, and that's I weird. had to restart several times. That's weird. Yep, but it also was probably old because I played it even after like I was playing it still in like two thousand four, two thousand five. So it's probably about the yeah. battery was probably getting old. I actually uh, actively saved my Pokemon Blue save on the cartridge. I booted it up a year or two ago. It still worked. Like, I could boot in and come, that save battery is still working. So what I did is I have a Retron 5 down here. Yep. And what it does is you can put it in there and play the game, but what you can also do is transfer saves from a cartridge. So I transferred it over to a memory card, so I have that, like, locked in, like, save backed up or whatever. That's awesome. So I backed that thing up, just like that rap song is. That's what they were talking about. Back that thing up. They were talking yeah. about the Pokemon Blue That's saves. what they were definitely talking about. Brittany, what's your favorite Pokemon? Um, my favorite Pokemon game. Yeah. Of um, time. I would probably have to say, as crazy as it sounds, X and Y. X and Y. Um, but Those were fun. Those were a new change. The Mega Evolution yeah, thing was nuts. My favorite game to play. My sister and I play together. Yeah. It's kind of like our thing that we've always done since we were kids. And X and Y was probably my most fun yeah. playthrough with her. That's cool. Yeah, X and Y was excellent. I, th I had a good time with that. Um, it was cool as the first 3D one, too. Yeah. That you're like moving around, like. It's not sprite based. I thought yeah, that was, was really so fun. Huh. To I just found out how to get into the options on accident by doing this. What? <laughs> just let so me... there's more options, but you have to press Y. But I don't have Y. So what do you do? So you shake it. That's your Y button. Cool. That's my Y button. All right. Well, thanks for joining in. Thanks for watching. If you're watching later, you know, thank you as well for watching. Uh, if you like the, if you like what we're dishing out, if you like what we're zippity zappity doing. Goo Goo Gaga, um, <laughs> then check us out on Twitter, Dweebo YT. You'll know when we're going live, what games are coming up for the week on Hangouts, when the podcasts are up, and what reactions we'll be doing. Uh, we have one final one for the year, the Video Game Awards, December 6th at 8.30 Eastern. Don't quote me, but do. Quote me if I'm right. Shame me if I'm not. But uh, yeah, check us out on there. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we're going to go out on Kenny giving us his best Pikachu impression. Pikachu!